People often say Certina is an underrated brand and I cannot always agree. I've seen Certinas in airport boutiques next to fashion branded quartz watches and apparently they felt well there. But on the other hand, Certina is a well-established company founded in 1888 in Switzerland and they are overall of course a very professional and skilled company with an interesting back catalog. And so I was very happy when Caseback viewer Anthony contacted me via Instagram and said look they're bringing back the DS2. DS2, I think this really is the model to start with when you want to explore the brand Certina. The watch was introduced 1968 as a tough expedition watch, precise and robust. The DS means double security, which is basically a special rubber construction between movement and case. The crown is also loosely attached to the movement so that nothing breaks in case of shock. And so let's go over the basic specifications of the new Certina DS2. We have an automatic watch with a case diameter of 40 mm, lug to lug length is 48, thickness 12.6 and lug width 20 mm. The watch is equipped with a sapphire crystal, a screw down crown and gains that way a water resistance of 200 meters. The watch is powered by the ETA 80611 as an indication that Certina is now part of the Swatch Group and they use this movement for many of their watches. And it is a very advanced little thing, we have to give them that. Relatively slow with only 21,600 beats but with a power reserve of 80 hours. We can choose between four dial colors and a variety of strap and bracelet options. The prices start at 860 euros and stated without VAT around 780 US dollars. So what's special here? First the case. A to no form which you don't see that often nowadays. And it is always a shame to take images of these watches unangled like this. It looks rather flat but when you flip it over then you see the entire story. We have an ergonomic shape that is interesting to look at from every angle. Compared to the vintage DS2 watches with diameters of 38 mm, this new one is a big watch. But these curved forms here make it wearable even for smaller wrists. And when you think about the watch as a piece for rough action, it makes perfect sense. Imagine this watch on an expedition to uncharted territory. There are no protruding corners and edges on it with which you can get caught on the jaw of the saber-tooth tiger. And you may notice how organic the transition case strap looks like. The dial instead is not so special. It's very legible, the forms are well known and fit the style of the watch. But in my humble opinion it lacks a drop of color. For example the tip of the second hand. We have a white date wheel for every model which is a bit of a shame and I'm not sure why they put Powermatic 80 on the dial. We know this rather from car manufacturers that they use the exact name of the machine. But here I think an automatic would have been the better choice. But admittedly it's more nagging that real criticism because many people will like it that way. And the watch has a lot of potential especially in form of this mesh combo. Price and availability. I personally find the price rather normal. Not cheap of course but in the normal range of the mid tier. And I'm recording this on Friday February the 4th and on their website I see only the entry form get notified so the watch is not available yet but this may change very quickly. Wow the weather here is so terrible that I feel a stream of joy alone by watching at this watch on the mesh bracelet. It will be awesome to wear mesh bracelets in the sun again. And with the sun in mind let me close this episode. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to watch of the week. Bye.